medals for those involved in Haiti's reconstruction, including the UN's mission chief, its special envoy, and even a Hollywood actor. At the official commemoration of six months since the earthquake, the government also unfurled a new rubble removal project. So far, the pace of the reconstruction is a little bit ahead of where we were in South Asia after the tsunami six years ago. This is a harder job, and therefore, viewed comparatively, I think the Haitian government and the people who are working here have done well the last six months. But outside the presidential palace, residents of the camps were unconvinced. These Haitians told us the trucks and a rare food distribution by Brazilian peacekeepers just meters from the ceremony were to create the illusion of progress for visiting media. Because they spent four months after the earthquake and they didn't give anything. Only all, uh, today you see they gave them a hot plate. They hot plate do nothing for nobody. The skepticism turned to anger as the morning went on the crowd burning distribution items in protest at their current conditions. Widespread demonstrations are planned in the capital on Tuesday. With complaints growing louder every week over the performance of those supposed to be in charge, for residents of the camps, thoughts are turning towards how to get their voices heard. But the party most Haitians would agree has the majority of its support amongst the poorest sector of the population may not even be allowed to participate in recently announced elections. Here at last week's first general meeting of Fanmi Lavalas since the earthquake, frustrations were close to boiling point. The last time we took to the street, there were riots and no one was expecting it. We are warning that the same thing could happen again. Whatever their political affiliation, with few signs of progress after six months of an international reconstruction effort, getting people onto the streets may not be difficult. Sebastian Walker, Al Jazeera, in Porto Prince, Haiti.